Hello guys, uh, this is the chart of Apple. Now, yesterday, okay, so the price was 121.35. Okay, this is where yesterday the price has stopped at. So let's see, 121, 121.35. Okay, it stops, the price stops yesterday here. Now, if you want to buy, you can buy either after, uh, you can buy before the market close, okay, in this day, which is Monday, and, or you can uh, buy after the market close, you can use only limit order okay you can't use other other kind of uh, of uh, of orders just limit order now the news was good for apple now after the market close the company announces its um, uh, quarter and it is a good uh, news now when when the people hear it's good news they begin to buy a lot now for you you have two choices either you buy before and you wait the news or you just check when the Apple has uh, will announce and you check it and then you you see the price if it's good you buy now the next day the market opens at 127.10 Okay, 127.10 is the open. It means when the market has opened. Let's see with green. Okay, now for me, um, depends on how much I got. Sometimes I sell before the market opens. Sometimes I wait until uh, I see where the stock goes. Now, today I waited and the stock has gone a little bit up and around uh, I think around one o'clock I sold it I'm not saying at the top but the top is 130 40 40 40 40 just uh, to make sure you understand what I'm saying 130.49 this is the top okay now for me I I sold it at 129 something I think 129.50 or something because I don't want to stay longer because for me I just check after one hour two or three I checked around one o'clock I see how much was uh, or 130 and then I, I see uh, good money so I sold because the open, as I told you, was 127.10. It goes $2 more, 129. When I see uh, from 129, 121 to 129, um, so this is an $8 for each share, uh, uh, each share so, uh, bought. So I see this is a good trade, and uh, you see the gap up, okay? You see the gap up, which is so good. And this is how the gap up do. Now, someone told me, oh, uh, it might have a gap down. Yes. Yes, it might be. So I have to risk. Because before you do the trade, let's say you are here. You are yesterday. Okay, on Tuesday. Before the market close. You have the choice either to trade the earning date or not to trade the earning date. Okay? You have two choices. Either you trade or you don't. Now, whenever you trade, you put money in the market, there is a risk of losing money. And there is profit also if you are right. 
So it depends if you are right with the market, yes or no. And this is a short trade. This is the shortest trade I do because most of the time I don't do day trading. I, I don't like to be um, watching the chart for every minute or two minutes or five minutes. I don't do that. So I just buy next morning, gap up, sell, get my profit. That's what I do. Now you ask me right now, if someone doesn't do the trade, so what, what about the future? Okay? The future, if tomorrow the stock is going up above this line, resistance line, this line that you see here, which is the, the high of today. If the stock is going up more, I can buy the stock and stay many days and see where it goes. If it's going to 30, 35, 40, it will be a new trend. Okay, and you can see here that uh, Apple was in a long trend. Okay, if you um, if you have uh, ordered uh, training level thirteen, how to buy from the support line? You can be here, or you can be here, or you can be there. Okay. So uh, this is it just it shows you how to trade, when to buy and when not to buy. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. If you have uh, questions, please comment on the section here on the video, or you can send me a private message as you always. If you want to check um, uh, my website for the training, just uh, go to my website and uh, search what you want. Thank you very much and have a nice day.